I'm a one. I'm a one. Welcome to another Coco's Couture Closet, home of all the trendy tips for plus size hips. I am Coco, and this is my closet. 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 If you are new here, hello, love. I am so happy you decided to stop by. Please stick around, like, comment, and subscribe, and become one of Coco's curvy fashion for dolls or dudes. And if you are already a subscriber, mwah, it's great to be back here with you in the Couture Closet. Now, whether you are a new subby or an old subby, hit that bell below, guys. Pound it so that when I upload a new video, you can be the first to know, so you can be the first to watch. Yes, honey, yes. And make sure you all follow me on all of my social media platforms. I am... Dr. Coco underscore curves on both Instagram and TikTok and Miss Perfect 1988 on Snapchat. Snapchat is where all the exclusives drop before they make it over here to the channel. So for today's plus size fashion haul, we have some gorgeous gowns that I ordered from Ruma Captain Citra. Captain Citra is a online gown boutique. They sell gorgeous gowns from sizes small all the way up to a 5X. Captain Citra is a online boutique that specializes in creating gorgeous figure hugging gowns similar to the one that I'm wearing, but they're really known for their bead work, which you will see further into this haul. You all know that Captain Citra is no stranger to my channel. I've never worked with them before, but I've purchased all together with this haul included at least 10 gowns from them all together and i always love every gown if you're interested i actually have a few of them on my poshmark that are currently for sale now for pretty much pennies on the dollar i love caftan citra because you can get a gorgeous gown for under a hundred dollars you guys under a hundred dollars and they're always running some type of sale now i've gotten a couple of questions regarding my caftan citra gowns because i did post a recent um reel and i'll insert it somewhere in this video but i want to answer a couple of quick questions so caftan citra is based in turkey so this is an overseas company so with shipping you can expect between three weeks and a month for your shipping to arrive i also received the question where is my tracking I don't work directly with Caftan Citra, you guys. I don't have an affiliate code or anything with them. I just like their gowns. But from experience, I can tell you guys that they're not the best when it comes to giving out the shipping. You're not going to get the traditional email that tells you that this is your tracking number, your item has shipped. No, you kind of just got to unfortunately wait around a little bit. So what I do is after three weeks, I email and say, I didn't receive my shipping. They always email you right back. They're very good with communication as cust and customer service as far as communicating back when you have questions about your order. They immediately sent me my tracking number. And from that point on, I was able to track my package. So if you order from Caftan Citra and you're waiting around for a email for tracking, since you're, gonna, you're kind of going to be waiting. But feel free to email them because they will respond to you very, very quickly. All right, enough chitter chatter. Let's get into these gorgeous gowns that I purchased to take with me on the trip to California. So let's talk about this first gorgeous gown. Now, this is a floor length gown with a, actually has a train on it. So it goes beyond floor length. It's, it's just a nice length gown i love this gown i love this color um is this olive green i think i think or maybe like a uh seafoam not really a seafoam green i can't it's not it's too dark to be lined but it's like a dark lime green dress beautiful dress this is a halter top dress so i do have on a halter bra with it and it has a strap around the neck. Now the strap is not adjustable or anything like that, 
but it is nice and sturdy. I thought this neckline was going to be a little more plunging than it is, but I'm not mad at it. It's just enough to still be sexy, but you don't have to worry about your boobs spilling all out of the dress. You guys see the camera rocking a little bit. That's because the baby keeps touching the cord. So like I was saying, back to the gown. Now this is a size 4X. This is a complete spandex gown. This is head to toe spandex, but it's a very thick, good quality of spandex. Very, very good quality of spandex. Now, um, I love the figure flattering of this gown. This is why I shop with Caftan Citra because I love the figure flattering. You guys, when I turn around, you're going to see that I have on my little Shein shaper with the little pads in the hip. That's why I look kind of a little more curvy than I normally do. This was the perfect gown to wear this with. Now, what you'll see a little bit on the sides is that the seams did open up a tiny bit. Now, I've noticed that in quite a few of my caftan citra gowns that in my butt area that the seams will, you know, kind of pop open a little bit. But I promise you, nobody noticed that. Only I knew, knew because I actually had the gown on that a couple of the seams popped open. But that's okay because it's still a gorgeous gown. And I'm not mad. That's something that's an easy fix. I can fix it myself or I can take it to the cleaners and have it fixed. I love the silhouette. This dress is everything. Now, like I said, the back is out. But if you get a little help, you'll definitely be able to cover up all of your back rows and your, you know, your love handles by simply just pulling the dress up. It's more than enough material for you to maneuver around the dress to have it to your liking. I love this dress. It's so elegant and so pretty. I'm going to try to see if I can give you all at least a slight idea of what this train is doing. <coughs> She says she want to dance, but she don't know how to. This is gorgeous, you guys. I felt so beautiful and elegant and classy in this dress. I love the split detail. You all know I have thigh tattoos, so it was right up my alley to have this split on my thigh. Okay, so this next gown for the color is absolutely my favorite. I love this mustard yellow gown. It's beautiful. I love the way that the color pops on my skin. I just feel like it's a gorgeous color. Now, honestly, this is another gown that when I looked at the mannequin, the plunge was much deeper. And so I was expecting a bit of a deep plunge line. So that's why I have the type of bra that I have on where the line, the, uh, the, cleavage line is a lot more dipped than a normal bra but truth be told I could have just wore a normal bra with this dress and been just fine because it has spaghetti straps here and so I could have put some clear bra straps on and been fine I could have put some boot tape on and been fine um there were a couple of different options I could have took with this dress now again this is another completely spandex dress so it's going to be very figure hugging and very figure flattering. It has a U-shaped opening in the leg area. So you get a visual from like the knees on down um, to the middle of the knee on each side of the leg. And I really like that. I think that that was a very creative way to cut the split versus up one of the sides, even though y'all know I'm a fan of a thigh split. This look, this looked very non-traditional as far as splits go. Now, I do have one small complaint about this dress and it's the lining. I don't like when dresses have linings that stop here. I prefer the lining to go all the way down the dress because what ends up happening is that when I put my shapewear on, you can clearly see where the separation as far as my shapewear from the lining of the dress goes. But again, all I had to do was put on my black shaper dress under here and it camouflaged it well. When you're dealing with these dresses of this material, this type of spandex, put your deodorant on last. Do not 
put your deodorant on and then put this dress on because what ends up happening, whether you use roll on liquid, you use smear on or you use powder deodorant, it's going to get on the dress because with spandex, the dress rolls up when you're putting it on and then you have to straighten it out to get it down. But in that process, it ends up rolling up under the armpit and you end up with deodorant smeared all over both of your uh both sides of your dress again this is a absolutely beautiful dress love the color love the cut with this type of material another thing you have to be mindful of is the lining on your shapewear like as you all can see i the lining on my shapewear is pretty bulky and so that's why i wore a um shaper dress over it so the back of this dress you're completely covered again you have spaghetti straps but you don't have to worry about any rolls or anything out this is perfect for my girls that don't really like their back out like if you suffer with like back acne or you're sub self-conscious about your rolls or anything this is the perfect dress for you this dress you don't have to have on any special type of bra you know any special type of you know um shirt or anything to cover up your rose everything is covered in this dress which makes it all the more beautiful because sometimes you don't have to rock out with your cock out sometimes you can have something a little more elegant and a little more classy i love the bottom it's not as long as the green dress but it does come all the way to the floor okay you guys so unfortunately this last gown as beautiful as it is i can't fit it i can't fit it and i'm a little sad about it because this is actually this was actually supposed to be the highlight gown for the trip like this was supposed to be the step out gown but i can fit the bottom the whole gown is a 3x i can fit the bottom but the top uh-uh the neck of it is not long enough so i can't even button it around my neck but also i can't really get into it um but i did want to come on camera because i wanted to show you the gorgeous bead work that they do over at caftan Citra. i wanted you all to have a good visual of that and this is the perfect example. You all also get good examples from my previous Captain Citra hauls because all of those gowns are all crystal or beaded. I love this. There's beading all over this. There's also beading around the neck, which is extremely pretty. Um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, two-piece gown set. It has two buttons here, which are used to go around the neck. And then it has this kind of gated look around the chest area. Um, I'm disappointed, honestly, that I couldn't fit it. Now, I'm going to turn it around to show you guys um, the back of it. Now, the back is all spandex. So, it's that spandex material that the other dresses are made of. Unfortunately, it just was not enough spandex to stretch to get around my entire body. So, you know, I'm going to unfortunately have to let this go. Top 10 Citra sells shirts, cropped beaded shirts that are made exactly like this. So what I'll probably end up doing is ordering one of those and replacing this with that because this is a solid emerald green bottom so it'll pretty much go with anything i love 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 these sets i have a few sets like this from caftan citra this is my first beaded set um not my first beaded gown but my first beaded set uh but i love the way that they make these mermaid bottom um dresses so flowing and so pretty and they put this uh cinching this extra stitching up the front and up the back and what that does is that really defines your figure also the dress has a v split up the front this split is higher than the split on the uh mustard yellow dress but it's not it's about as high as the split on the green one this skirt is extra long so it does have a nice length train to it as well so i'm gonna turn around and show you guys the back of it you are gonna see my rolls because i don't have a shirt on but you'll get over it i mean if you are on a plus size channel and you don't think you're gonna see no rolls since you're on the wrong channel so you see how it has up the butt it has that extra stitching in the butt area that kind of 
gives the skirt a mermaid flare. I love when Caftan Citra does that, and they do that a lot with their skirts, with the skirt, um, the skirt top gown look. And I like the two-piece gown look because you can mix match it. You can wear it with this, or you can wear it pretty much with anything. But that is the last look, you guys. That is all three of the dresses that I purchased from Caftan Citra. I hope that you all will shop with Caftan Citra. And when you do, tell them that Coco's Couture Closet sent you. Because we, we want to work with Caftan Citra. Why not? I didn't purchase from them about five different times. So, and clearly I love the gown. So, why not? You know, holler at my channel and use it for a promotion. Hey, Caftan Citra. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Support your girl. Follow me on all of my social media platforms because we going for 10K all the way. Like I always say, bring your mama, bring your sister, bring your auntie, bring your cousin, bring your gay uncle, baby. Hell, bring your baby because we got room. And there is always room for curves in Coco's Couture Closet. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys. Mwah.